Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another bunch of Star Wars The Black Series action figure reviews. We're going to be starting with number 90, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Uh, this is part of the first wave of Rise of Skywalker figures. Um, been out for a couple of weeks now, um, and I'm excited to sit down and, and give these figures a review. Um, there's some great figures, so I've got Kylo here. Um, I've got him posed up. He's looking pretty sweet. I'll give you a bit of a 360 on my new... Super awesome high-tech <laughs> turntable here. So as you can see, he's got his lit lightsaber. His re reforged helmet that was destroyed in The Last Jedi. This looks pretty sweet. Um, we'll look at more of his accessories. He does come with this with this plastic cape, uh, not unlike the one that he came with in The Last Jedi, except now we have a couple of pieces on top of the shoulders here. This allows for a couple of attachments. First we have the hood down. So it sort of pegs in there. It's probably my preferred look. Um, I'm actually enjoying having him displayed without his cape at the moment. A nicely molded piece looks quite good and also we have the hood up as well which is a little bit oversized uh, once it's on the figure I'm just trying to squeeze that into the right spot so what I'll do is I'll get Kylo standing straight I feel like the hood kind of sits up just a little bit too high on the off the helmet. It's sort of um, yeah. I, was, I did try and do the uh, rinse under the hot water and uh, try and get it to sit a bit flatter, but um, hopefully they just bring out a soft goods version at some point. That would be a lot better. But it's fine. It's it's a cool look. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm I'm kind of digging it without the. without the hood and without the cape and stuff at the moment. He also comes with his unlit lightsaber hilt, which does peg into his belt, which is nice. So that aside, um, he's pretty much the same figure that we got for The Last Jedi in terms of the body mold, sculpt, everything. Um, it's done a bit more of a black uh, that had a lot of sort of sort of grays um, It was intended to be black, but some of the some of the paint apps ended up being a little bit on the dark sort of charcoal gray side um, And the main main obviously the new thing here is helmet and uh, Comparing the helmet to either his last Jedi helmet that he had in the start or the force wagons helmet. This is slightly bigger um, But it looks good Cool details. Looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this with this one. Um, I've, at the moment, I've just got him on my shelf, flanked by a couple of uh, the Sith Troopers, which I have reviewed before with part of the uh, San Diego Comic Con set, so I won't be reviewing that one again. So, in terms of articulation, he has. Ball joint in the ball socket in the helmet, ball hinged neck, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists, torso joint there, ball hinged at the hips, swivel thighs, double joints in the knees, and ball hinged ankles. So, pretty standard articulation for Black Series, but works really well. And I dare say this won't be the last Kylo Ren we'll see. There will be more. I'll have to do him unmasked again and make us buy that one as well. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And next up, we'll be talking about number 91, which is Ray from The Rise of Skywalker. So we'll see you in the next video. Until then, may the Force be with you.